Hi, and welcome to this draw along of a cartoon dog. Now, I love animals. My father is a veterinarian, so I've grown up around lots of animals. I've actually had my own share of dogs. Currently, we have a lab, black lab named Rags, a Catalua named Callie, and a Shepu named Snoopy. So we have Snoopy inside since it's a little dog and the other two dogs are outside. So I hope you join me drawing. I'm gonna give you two different styles of our cartoon dog. So go grab your art supplies and your pencil pouch and meet me back here to draw the cartoon dog. Let's talk about the supplies in my pencil pouch. Pencils, mechanical pencils, crayons, colored pencils, and markers are all great tools to use during our draw alongs. Okay, little art tutors, we are here. We're gonna be drawing a cartoon dog. This is kind of a generic dog drawing, so you can kind of make it look more like um, your pet or someone else's pet by adding color. Um, so here's your PDF, make sure you got it. I have it printed out. I'm gonna have that off to the side. I've got my white paper, it is vertical. So before we start, we're gonna fold it so we have the center. So you're gonna take your short top and fold it crease it to the short bottom so we know where the center is so it just helps us out as we are drawing now i know uh, you can pick your art tools out the things that are in your art your pencil pouch um, again these items it just depends on what you like to use and what you like to draw with and how you're going to add the color Okay, I'm going to use something new. It's called a paint stick. Um, these are sold. You can get them on Amazon, but it's just a way for us to add color and make it a little bit darker. This is called Quick Sticks. There's different brands. Crayola has their own brand. Um, and these awesome little things dry in 90 seconds. So you just turn the knob up and you get your paint. So again, there's my fold. Um, we're going to start above the fold, kind of on the left side with his nose. And it's like an upside down triangle now and I always leave a little corner because we're going to color in the nose um, as a highlight coming off the nose we're going to start up towards his head and then we're going to make a curve down because this is going to be his ear and then under the nose we're just going to add a line Okay, so we're gonna make our way down below the fold for his feet. So we're gonna, where that line is, where his chin is, we're gonna come in a little bit and we're just gonna go straight down for the first leg. So straight down and then his feet, I don't make it very complicated. I just add a little curve and then back up. We're gonna make a U and make another leg and back up. Up. Now we're not taking the second leg all the way up, um, then we're going to finish the back end. So coming off the top of his ear back here, um, it's going to curve to make a neck and then kind of his bottom area, so it's going to kind of curve out. And I want to stop right where these feet are, because his back legs he's sitting, so his back leg is going to, his little foot's coming up. And then where his big part of his leg is, we're going to come up and around. And then back here, we're going to add his tail. Dog's tails are not curvy like a cat's tail. And then the last few details, we're going to make it look like his body is back here. So from foot to foot, we're just going to draw a line, stop, jump over the foot, and draw a line. and then a collar and an eye. So his eye, we're just gonna make a little dot. Collar, and make it two lines that curve right around his neck. And then if you draw a big enough circle, you could probably use something smaller than this to write your dog's name. So I'm gonna draw one. We have a black lab, his name is Rags. So in there, I'm gonna use it to um, something different. And I'm gonna write his name. 
So that's my dog's name. Again, you can write your own dog's name. So now to add our color um, to make it a little more your dog. So again, choose what color you'd want your dog um, and to even add more pop than add a color around it. So I'm gonna speed through this part then we'll talk when we're done. Okay, I have finished adding the color to my cartoon dog. Now, I decided to, instead of doing like a picture of him in the sky and the grass, I just went with one color around um, my dog because I just thought it looked better. I didn't do black. I know my dog's black, but um, it was too much black. So you can always do this with anything, but I'm gonna go back over those lines that may have disappeared um, as I painted over it. Um, I also left his belly white and added color to his collar. Again, I think this would be a great thing for you to do for Christmas gifts. I mean, if they had a just a big dog and you just asked what color they were and maybe their favorite color to add in the background or what collar they um, wore, then you could create your own art to give as Christmas gifts um, of people's dogs. So this is a great idea to add um, to something that you could do, or you could even, you know, charge people. Maybe you could get them to pay you $5 to draw their dog um, as a gift for someone else. So just always a thought. Um, you can always use your art to as, as gifts to give um, and to create something for you to sell. So I hope you enjoyed creating your cartoon dog with me. Okay, today we're gonna be drawing a cartoon dog. So please remember we have our handout linked with um, our lesson on our Hillcrest Art Room Facebook page. So you have your coloring sheet, that would be step one. A little bit harder would be following each step and then three would be watching the video um, and doing it with me. So please remember you can always hit pause when you need to stop. Again, I'm gonna be using my sketchbook. Okay, let me flop this back. Okay, so again, this is a little bit harder. Um, I'm using an alcohol ink-based pen. It does have two sides to it, so I'm gonna kinda use the dual tip, starting with the fatter one. Um, the head, the head of our cartoon dog, um, the first, the top part of your head, and the ears are kind of big, so leave plenty of room at the top. I would say the top part is a rounded rectangle, but then the bottom's more of a triangle. So once you've got your head, you're gonna start on the left. This is gonna be the body and the back leg. Same thing, the body and the back leg. Now stop there. Do not connect to them yet because we're gonna have his front legs in front of that. So I do not want to um, connect them together quite yet. So that would be step one and step two. Step three includes adding the paws, which is just like a sideways oval. And then we're gonna be adding the front two legs here. And they kind of come wider at the top and skinnier as they come in the bottom. I don't wanna to start too close to underneath the chin. I'm gonna come down about midway of his body. So wider, then smaller, wider, and smaller. They're technically not parallel lines because if you continued them, they would eventually touch. So I'm gonna to switch to my skinnier marker. The um, front feet are gonna be a little bit of a funny looking feet because again, we're doing a cartoon style. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So once you have his front feet, then you can kind of fill in a line where it connects his back of his body. I kind of jumped over and filled in those spots. And then we're gonna add a collar. So two curved lines. And then under 
the collar, but right in the middle, we're gonna add a dog tag. And I'm gonna make it kind of big, because I do want you to write, I wanna name, you're gonna name your own dog. So, leave it. Um, now, I am gonna do where the white is the belly of the dog. So you can include this if you wanna add the white, or maybe you wanna do black on the belly and a different color on the outside. So underneath the chin, I'm gonna to come to the collar stop, jump over, I'm gonna go on the outside of the leg. Jump to the collar and stop, outside of the leg. So that inner part of the dog is gonna be a different color. So this is steps one through four is what we've just completed. Okay, step five, we're gonna start on the ears. So just like we did wider to smaller, we're gonna do smaller to wider. So this is the first part of the ear. I'm gonna stop there, do the same thing here. I kinda want those corners of the head is where those ears are coming off. In the face, we're gonna add the nose. So coming down, cause the eyes will go up here, straight across and then very big nose. Yes, I know it's exaggerated. So that was step five. Step six from that nose, we're gonna come down a bit and then make another big V upside down V and then we're gonna finish your ears off so kind of like we did with the bunny ears we're gonna start on the top line we're gonna curve down and then touch this line curve down so it's kind of square touch this line so it's okay if they're different shapes he's got goofy kind of ears okay details in the face Add your nostrils, a few little dots, and then the eyes. I don't have them touching this week, but they are two big circles. And then make him look wherever you want. And then the eyebrows this week, if you have enough room, they can be on the head. I'm gonna kind of bring mine up here because I don't have quite as much room on his head. So your last part is to add your details. For example, what do you want to name your dog? You may have to use a smaller um, marker to write. Let's see, I'm gonna name this one. We have a yellow lab called Jack. And then the detail, like I drew in the picture, which is, I'm gonna have to go to the second page. He is, chasing after tennis balls. So it's my big funny tennis ball. So add the details to create your um, dog to help it make it your actual own unique. Again, name it, maybe a bone, maybe as a stuffed animal they like. So what does your dog have a specific toy? So. Thank you for joining me as we draw this cartoon dog. I hope you kind of put your own spin on it, either changing the color of your dog or maybe its favorite toy. Again, my dogs like to fetch. So um, a tennis ball was a great little addition or detail to add to my cartoon dog. So join me back for another draw along coming soon.